pourtant, regarde-moi maintenant, semble-t-il me dire. Il dessine des arbres sur le tapis, déroulant de la caisse sans registre Il en a planté des arbres, il en a planté des fruits et des légumes. Les articles défilent tandis qu'il dessine les arbres. Je l'écoute, je souris peut-être. C'est la maison du cœur, sans pareil. Des ombres passent. Je puis dire que quelqu'un m'a parlé aujourd'hui. Hello everybody, my name is uh, Danielle Dussault. I am a French Canadian author. I come from Quebec province and I live in a city called Thetramines, which is in the country. It's not so far away from Quebec City, but I really live in the country. I live in a mining area and I've been writing since I was 14 years old because I was sent to an English school as I am French, I, am, I have French roots and I have also indigenous roots but I was sent to English school and that's how I became an author because I wanted to write my diaries in French and I started writing short stories. First, I was uh, quite happy to, to, to know that I was invited by the Pra Mesto Literaturi uh, to write about... My first theme was to write about bridges and connections. But then I was sort of uh, directed in a deeper theme, in a more accurate theme, which I call here angels. And I'm going to explain what I mean by angels. Angels are me, they're you, they're us. There are all the people who have been pressured down, who have been repressing uh, feelings or even I was relating to the Czech, uh, to the Czech Republic who has gone through uh, invasion and the Soviet regime. And I got interested in the side effects caused to me, to you, to us, to this uh, Czech Republic country by um, diving into this subject where angels are people who have had in their lives trauma and they want to reconnect with themselves and their higher selves. So I was here to write about these angels um, wanted to, re to reconnect with themselves and their higher self. And I met extraordinary people. I met ordinary people. I went in some recovery rooms where people were uh, living out their PTSD uh, uh, syndrome. And I've heard healing and recovery uh, stories that were wonderful. And I've been writing short stories to thank these people. Mainly that's what I've been doing, making connections between me and these people that I met in Prague. Prague is, uh, for me, is an infinite city uh, full of li little secret places. And the way I found out about uh, these little secret places was to lose myself, <laughs> was to wander around, was to uh, just getting lost in the streets and not knowing where I was going. And I could feel the, the, wor the world of Kafka here. Uh, as a matter of fact, I met uh, a woman a hat, I call her the hat lady woman, who has uh, brought me all around the world of Kafka in the streets and the places where he has lived. And I've been reading Kafka over uh, coming here in the uh, Czech Republic. And, and really the strangeness that we find in Kafka's uh, books uh, is something extraordinary that I've been uh, connecting to 
So Prague was, uh, was for me a, a tremendous experience uh, in, in reconnecting with, uh, with myself, with my roots, but also with, um, with uh, similitude, I would say, the, the resemblances with, uh, with the people here. I will miss a lot of things when I'll be leaving Prague. First, uh, the staff from the Praia Mesto Literaturi, they are wonderful people, infusing really good and positive energies that I've appreciated a lot. I will miss the tramway because I was based in Barandov and I will miss um, the coffees, I will miss uh, uh, certain concerts that I've been to. Uh, around five o'clock at the end of the day and uh, uh, they were very intimate concerts in, uh, in, in the churches and I will miss that. I will miss the people, their friendliness, their, the fact that they've been so warm. Uh, people have been telling me stories, people that I met on the street and they just start to talk to me as if, you know, they, I will know the language. I will miss that. This. Uh, this trustful attitude that uh, many of you have been teaching me and uh, giving me. I would like so. I would like to return to Prague. I've met uh, translators here in Prague, and uh, really, if I was to come back, if I was to come back here in Prague. There's one thing I would like to do, is to learn the Czech language full time, in a, in a very intensive way. I would like to learn Czech because I think it's a wonderful language with many nuances and uh, somehow it's, it's connected to uh, the French language in that manner. There are a lot of nuances and, um, uh, and I would like to take painting lessons also if I was to come back in Prague. I would tell them something like, be curious, uh, look around, feel the ground, talk to the people. Um, even though uh, you don't know the language or you know little Czech language, uh, just the physiognomy or just the fact that you, uh, you are willing to, to communicate and to make links. Don't be afraid to talk to them. They're really, I've been, I've been meeting great angels here in Prague. People who are uh, interested in uh, making links and uh, sharing with you. I've been writing really short stories, making really short portraits of the places and the people I have met here in Prague. Most of the time I have been writing at the present tense because it gives some lively uh, structure to the writing. And um, I want to publish this book because I'm sure there is there are many links and connections to, to make with my country, with Quebec. Uh, Quebec and Prague are two cities uh, belonging to the uh, heritage of U UNESCO. So I'm sure there's a lot to, to share and uh, I'm anxious to come back to Prague. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Thank you.